What up, though? It's your boy DTM Deontay, the motivator, man. Listen, this is the commencement speech. I just wanted to give it to you guys, man. I got something real special for you. Make sure you pay attention. Listen to it. And then after you listen to it, go back and listen to it again. And then tell all your friends about it. Because this is real deep. So the backstory to it is that I did the commencement speech for the school. It was almost like a competition type thing where they had to see who sounded the best. But unfortunately, they didn't choose mine. They chose another person. Um, but I felt like this was too deep to just let go. So I want to still give it to you guys so that you can get everything from it. You know what I mean? Because I put everything in it, you know. So, you know, li listen to it. Let me know what you think about it, man. I hope y'all like it, man. Peace. Check it out. Two of them. What up, though? Social media friends, fellow graduates, and family members. First, I'd like to say congratulations to everyone that made the commitment and sacrifices to get to this point. My name is Deontay Donald, and I am the future of motivational teaching as well as a future physician's assistant. And I'm honored to stand here before you today as a Baker of Allen Park graduate. Now, initially, I presented this speech in front of the board at Baker to become the commencement speaker for my graduation, but they decided to go with someone different. But the message was a little too deep for me to just let go, so I decided to share it here with you guys today. So it's been a long road for me to get here, and I started this journey back in the fall of 2001. I graduated from high school, had my first son, and started college all in the same year, and two of those were within the same month. Then life took control, we call that Murphy's Law, meaning that anything that can happen will happen, and I had to take a break. But what I found is that what happens in life generally happens to all of us. But what separates us is what we do about it. So after several years of off and on schooling and having children, getting married, in 2008, I enrolled in Everest because I wanted something different. Now I always say that Everest and Baker saved my life and here's why. Everest was proof to me that if I stick with something I can complete it. Baker was proof to me that if I surround myself with people who have my best interests, anything can be accomplished. Now comparing Baker to that other college that I attended makes me appreciate the staff at Baker that much more because they pulled the best out of me and made me raise my level of expectation. Now there are several great periods in a person's life, but to name a few, it's the day that you're born, the day that you graduate from college, today, the day that you get married, the day that you have kids, but my most favorite and most important to me is the day that you find out why. Because the day you find out why, you actually understand your purpose in life. Everyone is here for a reason, and finding out what that reason is is only the first part. But executing it is the second part. And today it's about execution, because execution is worship. Now, I once heard this before, and I want to share it here with you guys today, because I felt like it's that deep. Now, imagine you were on your deathbed, and surrounding you were all the ideas and, and ambition that you and dreams that you never follow through on, that you did not execute on. And they look at you and they say, only you could have brought us to life. And now we must die with you. So I'm going to ask you this quick question, and that's what dreams and ideas are inside of you? What are you holding back on? Listen, guys, if I can do it, right? A father of four, a full-time worker, a speaker, a husband, and the list goes on then I can guarantee you, you can do it. First, you have to establish your why. Your purpose for doing something in life, right? But your purpose cannot be monetary. It can't be like, you know, money. It has to be something that's stationary. So for me, my purpose, my why is my kids. Reason being, my sons will always be my son. My wife will always be my wife, right? And I cannot let them down. So that's what gets me to that next level. And I'm going to continue to do it until the day I can't do it no more, meaning that I'm probably dead in the dirt somewhere. And see, I've honed in on, on this within the past few years is my passion for a covenant. See, we, we miss that. We don't. We, that's not around anymore as far as not everything is all paper contract type deal. But the covenant to me, I made a covenant with my kids. I made a covenant with God. I made a covenant with my soul to continue to go to that next level. Every day is an opportunity for me to move forward, move higher. So I, I, what I do is I live in the now. 
No opportunity wasted. Take advantage of every single opportunity that you are presented, right? No regret. So today, as we prepare to take our next step in life, Baker has aggrandized our vision and ability to tackle whatever life throws at us. Now, I can remember watching Emmitt Smith when he won the Super Bowl and they interviewed him. They asked him, what will you do next? As he was in the weight room working out, he stopped and he said, I'm going to take a break. They made a stop for all the two seconds before he got right back to work. So I want you to remember this. In your journey in life, everyone is created equal. But some of us work harder in preseason. And you are only as good as you are in practice. So don't fall into the notion that you have to feel like you have to fit in. Because life is like a game of Tetris. Once you fit in, you disappear. So to sum it up, it took me 16 years to get this two-year degree. But what I just recently found out is that there are no dates on this degree. So if it took you two and it took me 16, the results in the end are the same. Life happens, and when it does, remember that great things do not happen all the time right away. Like it takes six months to build a Rolls Royce, but it only takes 13 hours to build a Toyota. So don't stop believing that great things take time. And understand that success is not in short supply. It's like an ocean. But what you have to do is you can't go to it with a teaspoon. We have to go try to get as much as we can. You got to at least take that bucket. Right? So I want to leave you with this thought. You can fail at things that you don't want to do. So why not take the chance of doing something that you love? My name is Deontay Donald, man. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And I want to see you next time, man. Motivational Mondays coming up soon. Peace.